Ready? 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 Okay, enough. Hey, how's it going guys? I just want to talk to you guys about being locked out. Have you guys ever been locked out of your apartment or house or car or anywhere that nobody was around to help you get back in? Today that happened to me. I was locked out of my apartment in the patio for about 30 minutes and man, it was so weird. I had no phone, no keys, no money, no shoes. I was stuck with nothing and the reason that I got locked in my patio was because I was going to go put tools away in our shed and there was a cat in our patio and he brought a mouse, dead mouse, and put it in our patio. When I open the door, the cat gets up and starts walking towards me like he's going to go in our apartment. I close the door behind me, not thinking, and start shooing the cat away. Once I turn around, door's locked. The little lever thing that keeps the door closed, that's down too. I look inside to the front door and I see that it's locked. Then I look down and I'm like, thank goodness I'm wearing shorts. Cause usually I just go into the patio, come back in, in my boxers, no shoes, no nothing. Cause I'm just going in and out. For 30 minutes, I'm thinking, what am I gonna do? Who am I gonna call? My neighbors are not here. Both of their cars are gone. And what time is it? B right now, as I'm filming this video, she's at a bachelorette party with her friends. So I know that she's busy and probably far away. And I don't even remember her number. I'm really bad at remembering anybody's number. I don't know my mom's number. I don't know my dad's number. I don't know my sister's number. I don't know B's number. So the first thing I do is look in the shred to see if there's anything that I could write, that I could maybe try to open something. I don't know what I was thinking. I was just trying to figure out what I could do on my own. And then I think, well, let me just start writing down numbers that I think is B's number because I'm really bad and I thought that I might have known a little bit of it. So I was like, let me just try it because it starts with like the same six digits as my number. At least I think it does. So I'm like, okay, I just need the last four digits. So let me figure out what I have. I write down blah, 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 blah. And then I'm like, okay, is that it? Is that it? Maybe that sounds right. I think it's right. Maybe. It wasn't right. <laughs> I, I go, I jump out of the patio and I go to the pool and I ask these guys if they have a phone and they're like, yeah, I call wrong number, first person, second number, just busy. Third person was B, and thank goodness she was nearby. She was able to come by and open the door for me. Man, it was hilarious. But thank goodness that I remembered at least her number at that time, for the most part. But have you guys ever been locked out? Because that's the first time I've ever been locked out, and I honestly was freaking out for a couple minutes. Like, am I just gonna have to sit here? in the patio and wait till one or two in the morning when B gets home and me just sitting out there bored with nothing to do. Thank goodness I didn't have to worry about it because I was like, it's like six o'clock and that'd be six hours minimum probably before B would come over. But hey, I am back and I thought I'd just do a video. Well, I hope I never get locked out again, seriously, because that sucks.